Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy method of earning consistent XP solo for uh, Call of Duty uh, uh, Black Ops Cold War. Um, basically all it is is you just play Dead Ops Arcade in first person mode and you just play the first five, six rounds or so depending on how quickly you want to earn XP as every round that you clear in Dead Ops Arcade starts at 500 and then goes up consistently by I believe 75 XP so it goes 500, 575, 650, 725, 800 you know so on and so on until it starts reaching like a thousand XP every round however doing this method means that you're not wasting time as the further you get into Dead Ops Arcade the more you have to do you know the longer each round takes you know so my method is simple uh, I'm pretty sure there's other people who've also shown this strategy but I feel like I'd make just a short quick video on it as it's really not too hard and like I said you can do it solo and I feel like in first person mode it's not as bad to go through each level you know you don't have a lot of risk of uh, failing this and then basically whenever you reach whatever round that you want to stop at you just simply pause and then quit match and you'll keep all the XP that you earn which is really good as normally most XP methods have it where you like have to die or something for the XP to stick but this one you don't you just have to simply just quit which is great you know you can see we get 500 XP and then because we're just trying to speed run through this I'll also show you um, once we reach there, the main method that gets you the most XP in a short amount of time, and then it's why we also then just quit out. To make it as simple as possible, because once you reach a certain level on Cold War, you need about the same amount of XP per level. But then, you know, as time progresses, you then run out of methods that can consistently give you XP, like weapon levels and stuff like that, you know. So doing this is a more consistent way of getting XP without relying on challenges or having to do anything specific for, um, you know, anything. You don't have to worry about leveling up weapons, unlocking camos, doing challenges, you just have to play the game. And this is also based on um, how much time you have, so if you only need to get a couple of rounds of this in, you can maybe get like one or two levels in the amount of time that you do it. Which is really nice, is because I believe you get roughly 5,000 or so XP. Which really isn't too bad. And then like I said, you just quit out and then you can restart it as soon as possible. So it's an XP method that's just simply in your control. You don't have to worry about like loading times, connection issues, because if you're doing it solo, there's, you know, no issues of that. But as you see here, we're going through the first couple of rounds pretty quickly. They're only taking like a couple of minutes overall. And then at the same time, if you really want to, um, you can also use your abilities to make the rounds go by quicker. Because since every time you have zero, they'll at least give you one every next round. So you can easily just do it like that. You know, make it go by quicker. It's really your choice. And because you're in first person mode, I also feel like this your weapon is a little bit more powerful. I could be wrong, but it's just me. I feel like in normal Dead Ops Arcade, it seems like it's so much easier to get hit, to get down normally. But yeah, this is what I've normally been doing whenever I'm not actually working on straight up challenges. Now, on the fourth round, you'll have this cutscene that you cannot skip. Or not really cutscene, but in, you know, it's this. Kind of wish you could skip it, but you can't. It's probably the only only consistent loss of time that you have is just waiting on this to let you out of it and then go to the next area. Now this is the main part as what you want to do once you get to the wild is simply just run through 
consistently just take out all of these spawners. You don't even have to worry about fighting the um, actual zombies. As long as you're fast enough, of course. They give you 350 XP as you see every time. And then also, if you're doing this on like a double XP weekend, then it's even better. But as you can see, in first person mode, I feel like it's also easier to run through the zombies and not get hit or downed. Just come over here. There should be one more back here sometimes. The amount of zombie spawners that actually spawn is random too. And then you just come back around if there's any on your sides like here. Take them out. And then what you simply want to do is once you're done, just run right to the exit. You'll get basically almost 2,000 XP right there. And then if you want to do the next round, you can as it gets you another 1,000 since it's a challenge round. By all means, you can. But if you want to, this will be the time where you just want to, as soon as you load in, of course, just to be safe. This is where you can just call it quits and then reset like I'm going to do. Because as you'll see, I leveled up during this gameplay. Let's say you only reach round 5, which is not that bad. But you'll see, once I exit out, I'll still have the level up. You know, the XP will stick to my account. And yeah, I figured, why not help you guys out if you're struggling to just reach consistent levels, you know, while leveling up to unlock more challenges that you might want to do for multiplayer or zombies, or if you want to do something like this to just get all of the challenges in one go, that's great. The downside is this doesn't really help a lot towards the battle pass. <laughs> as you see if I come over here to my barracks the XP has stuck level 162 uh, yeah but yeah that's pretty much it for the XP guide um, let me know what you guys think of it if you found a faster way or if this has helped you out uh, this has been Mr. Pilgrim see you all in the next one